Here's a fourth critical lesson I see in the story, and it's huge. There's no such thing as a private sin. The fallout of my sin will impact everyone around me. You stop and add up all the people in this story that were hurt by David's so-called private sin. All the people that were dragged down or corrupted by it. It's staggering. David unleashes a tsunami of pain. It begins, of course, with Bathsheba and Uriah. Then Joab. Joab was David's Jonathan after Jonathan had died. Joab was his fellow warrior, his confidant, his kindred soul. What must Joab have been feeling when he opens up this letter from Uriah? And, and, it's, and it's his friend and, and king saying, send Uriah to the front so that he can die. But Joab did it. And so shared in David's guilt. And then who could possibly calculate the damage that David caused? Listen to me here. When the good that David would have done, the good that David would have done had he not sinned, never got done because he was all wrapped up in the tendrils of shame and guilt. All those places where ordinarily, if good David was in place, he would have offered counsel and encouragement and teaching and godly moral leadership. None of that took place. Because David was now spiritually numb and passive and compromised. Even if your private little sin doesn't directly hurt anyone, the indirect harm that your sin creates, who can calculate it? Because they don't get you at your best. Thank you.